Welcome to part two of modular design in the UI. In this lesson, we'll look at some examples of modular UI. Good examples of modular UI design can be seen in patterns such as responsive grids, tile windows, and card designs. In all of these examples, modules are used repeatedly to provide a flexible design. In addition, the modules can act as containers as well, providing the ability to insert different types of content and functionality much like the inserts that can be added to an IKEA cabinet as we explored in the previous lesson. Let's take a closer look. Responsive grids. Responsive grids are used to lay out web pages so that the content can adapt to different screen sizes. Now, how does this work? The grid is a system comprised of two kinds of modules, rows and columns. Rows are pre-configured to take 100% of the width of the screen and are used to group columns vertically. Columns are meant to be contained by rows and can be configured to a set of predefined values, which determine the space they should take up on the screen. When assembling rows and columns inside of a grid system, modules work together forming slots where content can be placed. If the screen is resized, these modules organize themselves to allow the content to adapt to the new size the slots have taken, making them responsive. Tile Windows Popularized by the Windows Metro design, this UI pattern uses a grid as a basis as well. But in this case, the grid is divided into modules that are proportional to each other, allowing for more dynamic layouts that break the uniformity of rows and columns. A couple of rules apply to these modules. One, they can be configured, in this case by the user, to a predefined size, small, medium, and large. And two, the user can choose the type of content to display on each module. This can be either just a graphic, dynamic content, or a combination of the two. As a system, you can observe how the type of graphics, color, and sizes of the modules play along together, but each one represents a different application, in most cases built independently. Card design. The card design consists of a container, the card, and parts that fit inside this container, which are the modules. Similar to the tile windows design, certain rules apply to how and what type of content is shown inside the card. The difference, however, is that the card itself can become a module, and as such, it can be displayed in different types of layouts. From this perspective, card designs are very adaptable because they can be turned over to reveal more content. They can also be folded, stacked, sorted, grouped, you name it. Some popular examples that use this card design are Pinterest boards and Facebook's live feed. These two show cards configured in different ways, in a masonry layout versus a stacked layout, and the different types of interactions that a card can contain. Now that we've explored different UI designs that are modular, let's continue the next lesson to discuss modular versus homogeneous design, and how creating modular design should not be a limitation for creating unique and innovative solutions.